flipping girl, yeah. Is that a tap? So, my point is like, the media, right, for the shooting, okay? I have all the, I have all the images they could show for my man, the so-called sniper, right? Guess what picture they blow up in the media? One piece. Sneaky on. And it's fits. So the people watching the media don't know how they're manipulated. They're gonna have the correlation or the association that an African Dushinki top yeah, garment when you fist up equals gratification, equals snapping, equals terrorists, equals yeah, a person about life. But why don't I have the picture of him in his US Army uniform? Because remember, he was a servant, he yeah. did serve in Afghanistan. Well, I know what you're saying, I guess. But the picture they have is that one with Dushinki on. Wait till I get home. So it's so like, we have Dushinki out here for one part, they think, oh, they're black power, they're terrorists, they're evil. You dig me? Now to the officers, okay? Now remember, I'm not hating on the police, it's just staying a fact. You dig me? I didn't have a KP to go and shoot back. Second Amendment, anyway. You throw your life in the front, and that's what the police do. Okay, they show these pictures in the media, right? Now, this cop officer, da da da, Lopez, he left a beautiful wife, he left three children, da da da. What about my man who got shot blading in the car? What about my man who got the lead put in his head? What did he leave behind? No one's talking about what brother left. Well, he had a loving family. He had no, but they wanted to find out if he had a criminal record. Look at the mouth, what's that shit with the, uh, the gorilla? The child, what did they do? They got straight in to find out if they got criminal records and shit. Like, what the fuck are you trying to investigate that for? What's that got to do with anything? And the gorilla was even no threat with the child. The gorilla was having compassion for the child and they shot it. That was a subliminal message to us. But I promise I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into the Tarzan rule today. That's the other shit that some of your crew has got to work up for. So, all the officers left behind loving families. They was always loving and children was going to university and all that. But what about when the brothers are being shot? Trevor Martin, all that since the last four years. Like, what about their loving families? What about you shooting somebody from our community? And it ain't a black and white thing. Let me stress that. But why is there nothing in the news? Like, you want to look for the, the most positive picture and turn it into a negative. The guy had a shake down with his stuff. That's just normal. That's how we do it. That's our culture. You think we cultivate our culture? You say that's the culture. That people over there, they're a cult. They're gonna run. Cause you rely on their media, and that's technology, that's that's politics. You think me? All that is politics, so. So now anybody with a, I've seen like 20, 30 people today with Dutch Eekers on. I know that all they're trying to do is wear their costume reflecting what? Their costume reflects your costume, right? I see a guy walking out here with Egyptian so, stuff on, reflecting his costume, right? Yeah. So called Jews wearing their costume reflecting their costume, right? So called Arabs wearing their costume reflecting their costume, right? If you're officer in the law enforcement, public transportation, whatever, you're wearing your costume. It's so it's in your costume, right? I'm not, but when I we do it, there's a problem. But you can say that too much that's gonna change, you dig me? So, the flip side of social media is that we can um, actually take control of our media. Oh, right. You can't so really be like, turn around, the Jews on the media, the Jews on the, like the media, the white people on the media. You can say they dope. They're on the mainstream media. If you turn on your TV every day, they're more for you. Because I don't listen to the normal news. News is meant to be West, and South. N E W S. I want to hear what Lee was doing in Brixton. I want to hear what Dad was doing in Tottenham. I want to hear what Peter's doing in Peckham. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what, what, what Byron was doing in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what Barry's doing in Brooklyn. I want to hear what Quincy's doing in Queens. I want to hear what Sebastian is doing in South Africa. I want to hear what Terry's doing in the Congo. I want real news from our people. We just got to fly in and tell me about the, 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 the Ghana floods. I don't want to hear it. CNN's yeah. breakdown, like ITN's breakdown, yeah. break yeah. like the, 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 um, the British Blood Clark Corporation, so the BBC's breakdown. I don't want to hear that breakdown. I want to hear from my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear when the, when the, when the, uh, matter of fact, Sean Poo, this is real fact. When there's an earthquake or... What's the big thing? Yeah. The volcano. Yeah. Only if a man has got a connection with it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when that shit was popping up? You informed me what was going on. You was, you was the roving man on the ground. This, film this book right here. He was the roving man on the ground. So I didn't want to hear no bullshit about how the British dealt with it. You got connections to Russia, yeah. right? Remember, you was like, you told me the inside news on that. Like my folks from Haiti tell me the inside news on Haiti. That's why I've got so much love for Haiti because they, they stand for revolution and they kick the French ass. 
That's why the world hates Haiti. I love Haiti. And y'all try to pin voodoo. No, that's black magic. That's my magic. Shit. You got a choice. White magic or black magic? It's not racist. It's not black and white, as I said. But I love my Asian people. They're my brothers and sisters. They've always stood for revolution. I love them. I can't find fault in them. Why? Because it's self preservation. They're always thinking of themselves. So big up Haiti. And they could have set a good example to the rest of the so called Caribbean islands. And. It was only two months ago, and I got you. Two months ago, what did, what did Haiti do? They put some other land, Nubia, when you fake the call Africa, whatever name you want to call it by, and they said, yeah, we want to join the, the African Union. And Africa said, Haiti, welcome at home. When these governments of these, uh, these governments of these corporations, they're not countries, US, Britain, France, Germany, Holland, and all that, they got envious and jealous. They knew that Haiti was about to blow this shit up. They, and they opposed it. Now Haiti is not a part of the African yeah. Union. The Africa opened up arms, now they're not. Who orchestrated that shit? And you know Venezuela would have done the same shit. Yeah. But now everyone's opposed to Venezuela. They duped Cuba. You know what that? They duped Cuba. Yeah, Cuba duped, they melted. But Venezuela, a lot of love for. You understand the, the politics of Venezuela. What they really stand for. Exactly. And uh, Puerto Rico just bent over anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, Puerto Rico. Bend the fuck over. Get shafted. Rich new. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can stand up for their rap, but they don't. They're being shafted and they ain't got the right to they fit their fucking dumb motherfuckers. Anyway, man. It's real, man. It's real talking. I'm unapologetic, you know what I mean? That's one thing about me. I'm not gonna like make excuses. I'm gonna call a I'm gonna call a uh, 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 a spade a spade and a faggot a faggot. Whoever really was offended, fuck it. You know what I mean? Because I ain't I ain't contracted to your to your laws. I don't recognize Rome, I'm not Roman. I definitely had a black Greek working for the moment. And all this ID code bullshit is wrong. And you're called it romantic. I'm not dealing with the antics of Rome. I'm not Roman. So don't get me caught up in this Roman shit. So I can call black black coons, I can do all that shit. I can say faggot, faggot, I can do what I fucking want. I'm not contracted to you, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth bitch. Ah, I said it. You're a Queen Elizabeth bitch. Queen Elizabeth bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Say it, say it like it is, man. <laughs> man, get knocked tomorrow. You know, listen, bitch. Say it like it is, man. Yeah, of course, man. Listen, bitch. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> that's not that's not that's not derogatory to all women. That's just one particular woman. What they do, right? Like I give a dead cat as much as I the Queen of England. The only reason you live so fucking long is because you're eating the, eating the fetuses and, and blood of our fucking brown children. You know, I ain't talking about David Icke and shit, but you know, they're snake motherfuckers. Uh, Don't leave me hanging, man. Brother. You know that the movie, the movie V. You know it's your favorite movie. So you know what I'm telling you, I ain't talking no David Icke. I'm being real. <laughs> it's real. Lizardy. So wait, so it's not Holland and Barrett? Nah, it's not Holland and Barrett. Which is a drugstore. Let's let's get this right. All these, <laughs> all these places, Holland and Barrett, and what's the other one? All these so-called chemists, and then you know they're mimicking Kemet, and they're taking the piss out of your like, monkey cool man. And, like and, and even if you want to call them pharmacies, then let's go back into the Greek. What is, what is pharmacy in Greek? Anybody? Drug? Pharmacaea. And what is pharmacaea in English? Sorcery. So they're tricking your monkey ass once again. Because they're saying, take this pill and take this tablet, spit some of a pig's ass. I just got some marabina, man, this morning. What's you gonna fuck up? No, I, I, I'm saying, man. So take this, take that, you'll be alright by the morning. And you believe that shit. And it's the Hindu who's behind the counter. We ain't gonna love you. So the pharmacaea or the sorcery, at least call it what they call it back in the States and the Caribbean. They've always called it a drugstore, that's what it is. Dead men's a drug, right? What about So it's a drugstore. What about Aravini? The chemist is a drugstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me it's put an extraction, this on really. side. It's, it's an extraction. It's a drugstore. Or herbal products. But the pharmaceutical run shit, right? Uh, right. So the pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical's outlet yes. is a drugstore. Right. But they pander it down, and you start believing in the psychic. Oh, it's the chemist. But it sounds nice, though. It's an extraction oh, of Oh, it's a pharmacy, because it sounds nice, though. Fuck that shit, it's a drugstore. But it's an extraction of natural herbs. Look, Tesco, yeah. J.S. Sainsbury's, Barrett, put food in there. And all these other slave masters, in Tesco. and all these other motherfucking slave masters you can mention, budgies, budget, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. All slave masters, right? Morrison's, all the motherfuckers. You can't sue me, because you can't see me. And I ain't contracted to your system anyway. So I can say what the fuck I want. Let me reiterate that shit. Yeah. So all the by definition, that they took something out of its original substance. Well, what are you defining it based by on? By definition, they took something out of its original substance. By their definition, their, their no, no, definition, no, 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 no. it's a drug. So they're all drug stores. There's no food in Tesco. Name me one food in Tesco. Bread. It's all drugs. Bread. The bread ain't fruit, that's a drug. 
It's anti-melanin. It's not food. It's anti-myosis. It's, it's got food. It's got wheat. It's got wheat. It's poison to us. Unless it's bulgur wheat. Go again. Canned food. All the canned food. Chicken. Why is, why is, don't give me sound of pigeon. Why has the canned food got such a um, uh, an expiry date? Why? When you open that canned food, right? Yeah. When no oxygen. light gets into it, it's no air, oxygen. and it's not natural. It becomes oxidized. What's preserving the motherfucker? What's that gel? That gel is pig sperm, goat sperm, horse sperm, and whale sperm. And don't believe a fucking word I'm saying because I could be lying to you. So Check it out for so yourself. Corned beef, beef, corn beef is even worse. Oh, come on. The, the pig, the pig. Oh, top, top, top. Listen, the dirty pig is oh. shot all over that motherfucker. Came all over it. Oh. I'm going to be rude and all that. It's going to came all over that can. And, that, and that, that life, that shelf life, years, years, years and years. You open that can, you like that. <laughs> and you go, you go wet that tomato ketchup on there, right? Which is pig blood. <laughs> like stage blood for the actors. Stage blood. Oh, what about HP sauce? That, that, HP sauce. The HP sauce and yeah. the fucking mayo. You know what that is? You already know the answer for that, right? It's radiated blood and radiated pus. <laughs> yeah, let's get real nasty. Let's do the nasty. It's radiated blood.